Hello, hello, hello. I am Linux Mitch. Have you ever wondered why when you're using your Linux system, the num locks are never turned on automatically? They're always off? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn them on. So when you reboot and you go into your login manager, it'll be on. When you log into Awesome Window Manager or Qtile Window Manager or your Cinnamon Desktop, they will automatically be turned on. So let's get to it. So today I'm in Arch Linux in the Cinnamon Desktop. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on the terminal. I'm going to make it large screen. And the first thing you want to do is download NumLock. Now, if you did your installation with my configuration files, you'll already have this NumLock file downloaded into your system. But if you built your own system, or if you downloaded something else like Manjaro or Linux Mint or some other type of Arch system, you may not have this. So what I'm going to do is type in this command. Do pacman s num log x. Now, if you have my zesh file, you can just type in this install num log x. And just to note, there's no b in num log, as in b for number. Anyways, you're going to hit enter and you're going to install it. I already have this installed in my system, so I don't have to do this. The next thing you're going to do is you want to go into LightDM. So, and that is if you have LightDM installed. Now, if you installed Arch Linux from my configuration files, you will have LightDM installed. If you have another login manager installed, then you're going to have to find out how to program that to turn on NumLock. This is only going to work for LightDM. So you're going to type in this command, cd etsy lightdm flash, and ls it. And what you want is you want to go into this LightDM configuration file. Now, if you installed my Zesh file, all you have to type in is this LightDM config. And that will take you into there. Put your password in. And I typed in the wrong password, so I'm going to have to do it again. And also, you're going to have to use if you're typing in the long command because you don't have my Zesh file, you're going to have to use sudo. You need sudo privileges to get into this. But when you're using my Zesh RC file, it's automatically typing in sudo for you, even though you can't see it when you type in lightdm config. So anyways, I'm going to put my password in. Let's just go to the top. So you're going to scan down. And if you installed your system with my configuration files, you already have this in here. If you didn't, and if you installed LightDM on your own, you won't have this line in there. And you're going to need this line 112. Line 112, you need that line in there. When that line is in there, and you reboot, and you go into your login manager, it's automatically going to turn on your number lock. So let's get out of there. Let's clear the screen. Now for Awesome Window Manager, what you're going to want to do is type in the long command if you don't have my Zesh file, which would be cd config awesome ls, and you want, you want to vim into this rc lua file. Whoops. That's the file you want, RC Lua. But if you have my um, Zesh file, you just have to do ah uh, and fig. And that will take you in there. So this is the top of the configuration file. You just 
You want to go to the bottom or you can do it anywhere, really. Now, if you downloaded my awesome configuration file, you're already going to have this in here. If you programmed your own awesome window manager, you're going to want to put line 740 in. because That line will turn on the number locks whenever you log into awesome window manager. Let's just get out of there. Now the same thing goes for Qtile. Now let's go the long way into Qtile. You want to do CD config Qtile. List the files and you want this auto start file. You want to go into there and if you don't have an auto start file, you'll have to create one. Now if you download my configuration files, you will have that It'll already be in there. So let's just clear the screen. Let's CD. Let's clear the screen again. If you have my Zesh file, you can go in the fast way, which would be Qtile Auto. And it's line number 10 you're going to want. So line number 10 is what's going to turn on the number locks whenever you go into Qtile. And of course, if you don't have this file, you have to make it. And this is an executable file. That's what this line up here means. Line number one, it means an, it is an executable file. And then you want to have the num locks in there. And once that's in there, whenever you go into Qtile, your number locks will be turned on. Let's close the terminal. And now, as far as the cinnamon desktop is concerned, what you want to do is click on this. You want to go into settings. Let's just make that full screen. You want to go into startup applications. You want to hit this plus sign until there's these two little menus down here. And you want to click on custom command. You're going to type in a name. It could be anything, but just put the title. Let's do number lock. And then the command is the most important one. You want to type in num lock x. Remember, there's no b in here. It's not number. It's num lock x. And then you can put a comment in. It can be anything, or you can leave it blank. Let's just type in turn on number lock. Okay, let's add it. So now. Now this is what you want, this here, this is the number lock. And you can toggle it off if you don't want it to turn on, or you can leave it on. Now another thing I should mention that this is more for bare metal, because it when you're working in a VM, the number locks will be on. But for sure, absolutely, if you're putting your installation in on bare metal, you want to have this there. So now whenever you log into Cinnamon, your number lock will be on. Now there is one more thing I should show you. So I'm going to open up a terminal. If you don't have the number lock app installed in your system and you're on a Debian system or a system based on Debian, now you can use the package manager of your distribution to install number lock, or you could type this in sudo apt install. I should type right install num lock x. And that's how you would install it in a Debian distribution. So in this video, I showed how to install numlock in Arch based system and in Debian based system. I showed how to set LightDM login manager so that numlock is turned on when you log in. How to set awesome window manager, Qtile, and the cinnamon desktop. So that when you log into them, your numlock will be turned on. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mensch.